How's it going YouTube? Cody Bernardi here with another YouTube video. In today's video, we are going to be doing some geospatial intelligence gathering on foreign military and then going a little deep into the supply chain of those airliners. Now, the reason why I want to make this video is because I'm looking to get a CMMC auditor certification and the whole purpose of the CMMC is to audit the supply chain of the DOD. Basically, they want anyone that supplies the DOD with any sort of, I guess, supplies or anything like that needs to go through a security audit to make sure that the supply chain of the final product is not tampered with anywhere up the chain. This is a great thing because I, I like to think of the incident over in, in Syria, not Syria, uh, Iran with the Iranian nuclear facilities with Stuxnet. Stux, that, that, that basically was a um, supply chain attack against their nuclear program. Basically, a nation state actor, as we think it's who did it, basically uh, tampered with the centrifuges that enrich uranium. And they were able to make them spin at a certain spin at a certain rate where they would break. Um, this isn't necessarily a supply chain attack, but it's an attack on infrastructure um, that ultimately ruined the end product. So the same thing can go with like the U.S. military. I'll put a link down in the video below. Basically, they did an audit on a spot welder uh, that made an airframe for you know whatever U.S. military jet, and they were able to find that. Uh, at that little spot welder shop, there's only like five employees. They were able to see an entire classified airframe of a U.S. military plane. Um, so doing some recon to see who makes these planes, who's a part of the process, because again, that is all open source for the most part. Uh, and then being able to pivot from a kind of a broad sort of intel gathering on the plane itself, knowing what like kind of engines it has, all the way down to like who you know, makes the wings, who produces the sheet metal for the wings. Because in an attack scenario, what you could do is instead of targeting that big picture item, you go for the smaller, little, I guess, least known organizations. So in the case with the spot welder, an attacker, what they would do is instead of like, you know, they would spot weld in this particular spot, they would move that weld like, I don't know, like four inches away from where it's supposed to be and it could completely ruin an entire plane depending on the kind of spot weld it is. So without further ado, let's get into it. So here is a list of Russian Air Force bases and I wanna go over some different tools you can use to gather a little bit more intel on these places. So I, I picked a random one, the Al-Assad Air, International Airport. So I have it loaded up here on Google uh, Google Earth. And when you're doing Intel, I prefer Google Earth over Google Maps. It's just more robust, you get better imagery and it doesn't have all the, the navigation stuff in there. And it's easy to draw out like <clears throat> with the measurement tool over here where you can like, okay, so we'll zoom out. I'm sure this is like well known, but I could draw like an entire line right there. So there, the landing strip, there is 2,900 meters, so it's probably about 3,000 meters long. I just like Google Earth. Now, I got Google Earth, and I also have Yandex Maps, because I will show you right now the importance of using both of these. So, uh, Google Earth, we, we all know what Google is. Yandex is the Russian variant of Google, and they have their own mapping software and their own image recognition software. So, you can see these two images, so I'll zoom in onto this tarmac right here so you can see we have a plane right there but nothing else going on over there uh, we have a plane over here on the um, northern side of that little area so you could see two different images on the google earth one we could see some jets right there so we'll get some intel on what exactly those jets are and here we don't have any of those jets but we have jets up here and <clears throat> no jets on google earth so we'll do some recon there so th some things to note is <clears throat> obviously what I did right there is the length of the, the landing strip. So that could kind of tell us the kind of planes that can land here. Uh, another thing that I had uh, realized on the Yandex map, zooming in, we can do a very simple uh, snipping tool or whatever tool you want to use. And you just take a picture of the plane. So what I did actually is I noticed that this plane right here has a very distinct feature on it. So you, you have the normal plane, you got the four jet engines, but this little circle on top usually is a radar or satellite 
uh, sort of kind of recon plane. So I went ahead and screen captured that. I went to Yandex map, I uploaded the image. So I'll select here, you know, here's the plane, upload that. So we get like all these different images right there. We're not really interested, but right here, I see a name that I recognize, Samir on Twitter. So I click there, I follow this person. They're amazing at geosp uh, geospatial intelligence. So they have a R8, RUAF Russian Air Force A50 AWACS aircraft at the you know, this air base and then the date right there. And this is the exact image that we just pulled uh, from Yandex right there. That's exactly what they did. We'll pull this up. You could see that the um, little taxiway right here, uh, we'll go back here, same taxiway. So, so we got some intel about what this aircraft is. So uh, we it's an A50 AWACS. So we'll go ahead and Google that. So this is a Wikipedia article about it. it. gives us, so a Soviet airborne early warning and control aircraft. We got some images of what that looks like right here. So, and we got some very basic characteristics of it, the length, the height, all that stuff. So I want to find out who makes the engines for the A50 power plant. Okay. So we got four D 30 KP turbofan engines. D30 Avidar RU. So bypass turbo fan parameters. So we could kind of get some intel right here. So English version about the company, company background, perm gas turbine engine families D30. So it looks like this company uh, manufactures these engines. So develops gas turbine engines. Um, so they don't have, oh, address right there. Cool. Oh. I didn't get the 93 in there. That probably will help out just a little bit. I was going to say that does not look correct. Okay, this looks a little bit better. And then if you can't read that, you can also throw that into Yandex as well. So it will read the text for us. So I'll save that. Google Translate will auto detect it for us. So per motor plant. I don't think that's exactly what we want, but it is a motor plant of some sort. Contact details, UEC avid.ru. Uh, let's start off with the host name of this. I'm curious if anything will show up. Okay. So 195, I don't think this company is going to have its own uh, BGP. Hmm. Okay. So their, their uh, website is hosted in this site range, Autonomous Nonprofit Organization, Russian Scientific Research Institute for Public Networks. Okay. Uh, we have an autonomous system right there. Go on to Shodan and see if anything pops up for this particular autonomous system. Search ASN AS6874. Now this is assuming that this organization still develops engines. I don't know. For all I know, all of these IPs, I mean, these IPs, it says Russian or Perm National Research University. It does kind of lead us into the somewhat, I guess, cyber attack vector. So let, let's, let's, let's take a step back. Let's review what exactly we have done. We have done some very basic geospatial intelligence. So we took a screenshot of this plane. This plane ends up being a Russian Air Force A-50 AWACS aircraft for surveillance. We got the engine. Uh, we were able to pull the engine from this, you know, Wikipedia page. So we have right there, power plant four solar uh, D30KP turbofan engines. So we go to this Wikipedia page, get a little bit more intel about the power plant. Then we were able to find, okay, we, type, we typed in D30 engine on Google. We came up to UEC Avidel Gatel's uh, website. We go back here, we're able to uh, pull info down that they are the manufacturer of this engine because you could see right there English version about this company company background perm gas turbine engines family d30 so they are the manufacturer of these engines um, We get some more information right here Like if I was interested in skewing with the pressure ratio of this engine 
you know, I, I could figure out a way to do that. I don't know. Um, uh, if I was like a military, like, okay, well, here's the, the info on their thrust. Does that take into account the load on the plane? That also tells us how much of a runway that plane might need, like things like that. Um, so we were able to pivot from here, like, okay, let's do a very basic host search on, uh, you know, Linux, host avid.ru. We got an IP address. We looked up the IP address on Hurricane Electric. We got an autonomous system. I looked up the autonomous system on Shodan, and we have 860 IP addresses. Now, do we know if any of these IP addresses are associated with the manufacturer of this jet's engines? I don't know. Um, but you you could kind of see the the process I take to go down that rabbit hole. Like, it, let's let's safely assume that the these this autonomous system is directly correlated with the. Um, manufacture of those turbofan engines. We have some very basic um, intel on what they use. How does that help us out? It really doesn't, but uh, one thing I do know is Microtik does have a pretty nasty bug out there. A, the Microtik routers are part of a uh, botnet. I think it's Myra botnet. Um, I'll put a link down below with uh, bad packets. Uh, we could see that they're running Windows Server 2008. So they have SMBV1 running, okay? SMBV1 does what? Well, if you go back to 2017, MS17010, uh, WannaCry, Double Pulsar, exploits SMBV1. What can you do with that? You can tra traverse through an entire network. Now, yes, they do have authentication enabled, so that removes some sort of attack vector, but let's go back here. Let's do, okay, uh, 14 things show up. So we got some basic stuff here. Okay, we've confirmed they're running a server 2003 R2 instance. So you can see what I'm getting to. Let's let's screenshot what these say. Text, it will translate it for us. We'll throw that into Google and figure out what those words mean. Administrator, IAS, caregiver has signed in. So we have an admin login. The very first one is an admin login. So you get, you get the point. So um, yeah, just do very basic intel. Um, I'll, I'll do an American jet, like a 737. So let's do that. Now let's go to the Boeing field in Seattle, which is, I think this is SeaTac. I want to go to the Boeing field right here. So same, same stuff. You could tell what kind of aircraft this airport can support, judging by the length of the runway. And I could tell you this image isn't the latest image because this is filled with planes right now. So let's go to Yandex. This green does not exist there. When the hell did they take this photo? 1980? Okay, so this is a horrible image. So let's go to Bing Map. Boeing International. So this is the latest one. So these are planes that are, uh, I know that are 737 MAX 8s. But if I didn't know that, let's make sure we get the entire plane in there. Take that, save as, plane, yes. Go back to Yandex, Boeing 737 MAX. So we got that info right there. So we know that's a Boeing 737 MAX, okay. Uh, another thing we can do here, bird's eye. This might be out of date. Oh, never mind. it's up to date. So bird's eye will allow us to get a plane view of this so we could see we got iceland air all this stuff there let's do a very basic google search boeing 737 max 8 supplier so you have supply chain program supplier guide manufacturer components okay so here are suppliers for the 737 max 8 if you want to protect your things this is why the cmmc needs to i guess be taken seriously because this is how an attacker will think so let's say you're a small mom and pop shop okay let's see what we work on we got all this stuff here avionics so avionics would probably be something that would be more electronic versus airframe systems go to imaging and visual systems we'll click on four so we have Astronix Max Viz, Enhanced Vision Systems, Collins Aerospace, Honeywell Aerospace, 
Telephonics Corporation. Let's go to Ast Astronics Max Viz. Let's get some very basic intel about this company. So product solutions, I got all of this stuff right there. They got their contact info, about co corporate overview, board of directors, cage codes, subsidiaries. Another thing that an attacker might do is they go on LinkedIn and look up Astronix Max Viz. So you can see right there, we got 18 results for this company. Uh, current companies, Astronix Corporation, Max Viz Inc. Go ahead and apply that. So we got some info right here. So this guy's a director, sales and business, blah, 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 blah. Let's go back to what I was doing. Google Maps, pulled some Intel, screenshot, you know, the plane, threw it into Yandex, pulled the plane number or uh, plane or airframe type from Yandex, went to, you know, this site or uh, Samir's Twitter account, okay, A50, looked up the manufacturer of the, you know, the, you know, the turbo fans, etc., etc. You go down that rabbit hole. So anyways, that's it for this video. Hit the thumbs up button, hit the subscribe button with the bell notification. Uh, if you could share this with all your friends so you can all end up in an FBI watch list. Um, <laughs> I'm kidding. Don't do any of this. Sh this is scary stuff. Don't do that. Uh, if you are a supplier for the DOD, like, this is serious sh you're probably not going to be as big of a target, but you're still a target to attackers. Anyways, that's it for this video. Y'all take care. Goodbye.